Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, two identical uh, circles uh, fully inscribed in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that this uh, side length uh, AB of this uh, right triangle uh, is uh, 28, whereas this uh, side length uh, BC is 21. And moreover, O and uh, Q are the centers. Uh, of these uh, circles and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of these uh, identical uh, circles please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, right triangle abc we know that this uh, side length ab is uh, 28 uh, this uh, side length BC is uh, 21 and now we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, AC and now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets 3 4 and 5 and now let's go ahead and multiply all uh, these uh, number by 7 across the board and as a result we are going to get uh, 3 times 7 is going to give us 21 4 times 7 is going to give us 28 and finally 5 times 7 is going to give us uh, 35 so therefore we can see if this number is 21 this number is uh, 28 then this uh, side length uh, AC has got to be 35 so thus all uh, three sides uh, of this uh, right triangle ABC have been figured out and now we can see that uh, these points uh, D, E, F uh, and uh, G are the points of uh, tangencies and we are going to connect them with these uh, centers O and uh, Q respectively as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see that this uh, O, F uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, circle let me label this circle as lowercase r then this uh, o e is going to be radius r likewise uh, q g is our radius r and finally our d q is uh, radius r as well and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram and here this is our radius and this is our tangent line so no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees so therefore all uh, these angles are going to be 90 degrees uh, each since uh, these are our uh, radii and uh, these are our uh, tangent lines and in this uh, next step i have connected uh, these uh, centers o and uh, q and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of uh, contact are collinear so therefore uh, these uh, centers oq and this uh, point of uh, tangency between them they lie on the very same uh, line and as a result now we get uh, this uh, rectangle oqde where uh, this uh, side length uh, oq is going to be equal to this side length uh, de we know that this is our radius uh, r likewise this is our radius uh, r as well so therefore uh, this uh, OQ length is going to be R plus R is going to give us uh, 2 times R. Now if this side length uh, is uh, 2 times R then this uh, DE length uh, is going to be 2 times R as well. And here's our next step. I have dropped this perpendicular OT and this uh, perpendicular uh, QH as you can see over here. And these uh, two perpendiculars uh, intersect each other at this point uh, P. And as a result, we get this uh, right triangle uh, OPQ. And now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments uh, are drawn to one circle from the same uh, external point, uh, then they are uh, congruent. As you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram, we can see that this uh, segment OA is going to be equal to this segment uh, OB. So therefore, in our case, uh, this segment OF uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, segment uh, AE and likewise uh, this segment uh, CG is going to be congruent to, to this segment uh, CD. If I call this segment uh, AF uh, as uh, lowercase a then this uh, segment AE is going to be lowercase a as well. Likewise if this segment uh, 
CG is uh, lowercase b, then this segment uh, CD is going to be lowercase b as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, segment uh, QG is uh, radius uh, r, then this uh, segment uh, HB is going to be lowercase r as well. And likewise, if this uh, is our radius r, then this segment uh, TB is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, length uh, AB is uh, 28. This uh, segment uh, AF is lowercase a and this segment uh, HB is lowercase uh, r. Then this uh, segment uh, FH is going to be 28 minus a minus r. And now since uh, these uh, segments uh, FH is congruent to this uh, segment uh, OP, if this side length uh, is uh, 28 uh, minus a minus r, then this side length is going to be the same. And likewise, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment is uh, 21. This uh, segment is r. This is uh, lowercase b. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, gt is going to be simply 21 minus b minus r. And if uh, this uh, side uh, length uh, is uh, 21 minus b minus r, uh, then uh, this uh, side length of this uh, small triangle uh, QP is going to be same. So thus this uh, tiny right triangle uh, OPQ has a uh, side length uh, 2R, 28 minus A minus uh, R and uh, 21 minus B minus R. So therefore we can see that these uh, two right triangles, uh, the triangle OPQ and this uh, big uh, right triangle ABC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, are going to be equal to the ratio of uh, 28 uh, and uh, 35. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down uh, 28 uh, minus uh, A minus R uh, all over 2R is going to be equal to 28 uh, divided by 35. And likewise, we have another ratio of this uh, 21 minus B minus R and this side length uh, 2R is going to be equal to 21 uh, and uh, 35. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down uh, 21 uh, minus B minus uh, R divided by 2 times R is going to be equal to 21 divided by 35. And now let's make an observation. We can see 28 uh, and uh, 35 reduced to 4 uh, fifth. Likewise, these uh, reduced to 3 fifth as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. When we multiply, we can uh, get uh, 140 minus uh, 5a minus uh, 5r equals to a times r. And now let's go ahead and move this uh, 5a on the other side, whereas this 8r is going to be on the opposite direction. So therefore, we are ended up with the 5a equals to 140 minus 13r. And let me go ahead and uh, divide uh, by 5 uh, across uh, the board over here. So therefore, our a value turns out to be 28 minus 13r divided by 5. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply on this side as well. And if we multiply on this side, that's going to give us uh, 105 minus uh, 5 uh, B minus uh, 5 R equal to 6 uh, R. And if we simplify everything, uh, 5 B turns out to be equal to 105 minus 11 R. And now let me go ahead and divide uh, both uh, sides uh, by 5 uh, across uh, the board. So therefore, our uh, B value turns out to be 21 minus uh, 11R divided by 5. 
So thus we are ended up with these uh, A and uh, B values. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, side length AC is going to be the sum of uh, A plus uh, 2R plus uh, B. And this whole uh, segment is equal to 35. So therefore I can write uh, A plus uh, B plus uh, 2 times R equals to 35. Now in this uh, next step, I'm going to substitute this uh, lowercase a by this uh, value that we figured out in our previous steps. And likewise, uh, lowercase b value as you can see over here. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, lowercase a by 28 minus 13 r divided by 5 plus I'm going to replace b by 21 minus 11 r divided by 5 plus 2 times r equals to 35. And now let's focus on these terms negative 13 r divided by 5, negative 11 r divided by 5 and 2 r. I have just copied them down over here and now we are going to add them up. And if we simplify everything this turns out to be negative 14 r divided by 5. And likewise, uh, if we combine 28 uh, and 21, that is going to give us uh, 49 minus uh, 14 R divided by 5 equals to 35. And now let's go ahead and move this term to the right hand side. And at the same time, I'm going to move this 35 on the other side, as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore, we are ended up with the 14 uh, R divided by 5 equals to 14. Let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 5 divided by 14 on this side and 5 divided by 14 on this side as well. And here on the left hand side they cancel each other out. So therefore our radius r turns out to be this 14 and 14 is gone. So the radius r turns out to be 5. So the radius of these uh, two identical uh, circles turns out to be 5 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.